All right, we have a review today. This was sent into the channel by the company Redivis. I reviewed some of the radios before. Um, this particular radio is a RB689. Now, um, it looks like a normal, uh, you know, handy talkie type of uh, type of device. Now, I have to warn everybody that this is not going to be something that most people can use. This is a commercial radio. Okay, it's not a ham radio. It's not a uh, FRS radio. It's not a GMRS radio. You can't program it to do those things. It is a commercial radio, so you have to have a commercial radio license, which is about two hundred and fifty dollars, I think. Um, so this uses frequencies between um, 450 and 475, no, 450 and 470. Between uh, 450 megahertz and 470 megahertz, there is a band called the business band, I believe the FCC calls it the business band, and they will uh, give you availability of certain frequencies. Um, I believe the programming of this device comes standard with, I think, what was the old yellow dot standard, uh, but I'm not an expert in that particular field, but it is programmed with uh, particular frequencies and particular uh, DTMF tones or you know, uh, sub, sub audible tones and stuff like that to allow more channels, because um, there aren't that many frequencies available on these uh, broadcast um, the broadcast band, or the uh, business band, so you have to use uh, tones to separate separate yourself from other people. Um, now, the nice thing about this radio, let's let's put the antenna on it, um, is that most radios you expect to have to pick it up and talk into it, right? Well, this one is Bluetooth compatible, and in fact, it comes with the Bluetooth uh, dongle. Okay, so um, it's hands free. Uh, it comes with a uh, it comes with a belt loop, so you could just put this on your belt and then stick this in your ear and then you're hands free. You can set it up for push to talk. It has a touch sensor here, capacitive touch sensor, or you can push the button on the side for transmit, or you can set it up in Vox mode and just do uh, voice activated uh, switching. Um, comes with the normal stuff, uh, comes with the charging cord for the, for the Bluetooth dongle. Um, comes with a drop-in charger. Uh, yeah, it, com it, it comes complete. Now the uh, display is uh, through the plastic, which is kind of cool. So it's, it's nice and sealed and, and, and rugged. And then the display is inside. It's got, it's got 16 displays in it. Um, it is a programmable unit. Uh, you take the side off and you can program it with uh, uh, the earphone, microphone type of jack. If you're familiar with how Baofeng does it, Baofeng, um, that's the way this one does it. All right, so let's take a look at the spec of this radio. Uh, like I said, 16 channels, you can scan, you can monitor, squelch power, 50 tones, yeah, vox. Um, the big thing is Bluetooth, right? That's the, the big thing here. It has a 200, uh, 2,600 milliamp hour battery. Fully charged, it can go 12 hours of frequent use. Wow, it does have a big battery. Um, let me see if I can open it up here. Pull this down. There we go. So the battery is pretty heavy duty. So so that's nice. It is. They did think about using this in an actual uh, actual business where you're going to use it all day long. Uh, Bluetooth compatible. Um, it has an LED flashlight if you care. Um, all right. So. Um, I'm not going to be able to transmit on this thing because I don't have a commercial license. And um, But what I will do is I'll hook it up to my radio analyzer. We'll take a look at the power output. Now, I've already filmed that and I was confused. I thought this was a 10 watt radio. Um, it is a 5 watt radio. Uh, let's see. Here are the specifications, and it does say transmit power greater than uh, less less than or equal to five watts. So, um, in the in the clip I'm about to show, uh, I do uh, it does it could do, you know spoiler alert it does output five watts. Um, I thought maybe it outputted ten watts, and there was a low a lower or a high setting, but I was confused on that video, so just ignore what I say there. Yes, it is a five watt radio, and it does meet spec. And then I'll test it on a spectrum analyzer. We'll look at it at its spectral purity. And uh, yeah, there we go. Um, I will be able to transmit into my um, radio test set because I'm not going over the air. I'm just transmitting inside of test gear. So I will be able to at least uh, try, try it out and listen to myself. Um, but uh, yeah, there we go.
All right, uh, radio has a fresh charge overnight and uh, we will turn it on. And battery says it's up all the way. And I will transmit, we'll do a fresh uh, test on wattage. Um, and we're getting 5.3 watts out and it's dropped to five. Yeah, so five watts out. Now, I was reading online and I don't know if that's high power or not. So let me, let me look at my notes. Um, it says holding the buttons, you can switch to 10 watts. Okay, let's try that. Um, uh, no. I don't think so. It says um, it says it's been programmed at the factory to high power. So um, the next step we'll do um, we'll measure the spectral purity first, and then uh, we'll hook it up to um, some software and see if we can't uh, look at the settings inside the radio and see if it is set to high power. Uh, but it looks like it's five watts. Uh, let's try some. Let's try some different channels. That was channel 13. Here's channel one, five watts. Channel three, 4.8. Uh, channel five, five watts. Uh, channel 10, five watts. So yeah, it's five watts. Um, okay, so like I said, let's do some spectral, uh, spectral tests on it. Uh, the last Redivis radio I measured was quite good, so we'll see how this one does. I have the spectrum analyzer hooked up. I have a 30 dB 5 watt attenuator on the input. I have the offset set to 30 dB so we can measure dBm directly. Um, and if I transmit, we get a, we get a carrier. Um, I have the sweep set to 300 megahertz to 1.3 megahertz. Uh, 1.3 gigahertz, I'm sorry. So 300 to 1300. Uh, we will do a max hold, and so yeah, there we go. We can do a peak search. We're getting a, a peak of 36. Point, so get out my calculator here. Um, 36.81 dBm is 4.8 watts. So, so this is also measuring 4.8 watts, and there are no harmonics. Uh, it's very very clean output. So. No third harmonic, no second harmonic. Um, let's see here. Let's go take the frequency out all the way. Frequency stop frequency of uh, 1.9. It'll go all the way up to what it looks like is 1.9 right now. And I will do a trace. And yeah, there's nothing. There's nothing out there. So this uh, radio is very, very clean spectrally. All right, um, I have the uh, Bluetooth paired and it's in my ear. You can see what it looks like. And what we'll do is I will transmit and we will see if it works. So I've pressed the uh, outer surface of the Bluetooth and we're transmitting and I'll turn up the volume here and you can hear, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get some echo. But uh, yeah, it seems to work just fine. And here I'm pressing the button on the side, so that's working good too. Anyway, uh, seems like Bluetooth is fine. Um, not sure about battery life on any of this stuff, but uh, it's probably pretty good these days. All right, here's the radio. Uh, there was a little cover on the side uh, with a screw. So I took that off and it, it, it accesses the uh, uh, microphone and earphone jacks, um, which is how you program it. So I'm assuming that my Baofeng programming cable will be compatible. They're probably all the same. Okay, well, that's my uh, review of the, the Redivis radio. Um, I did uh, try to program it 
Um, there is programming software available from Redivis. You can go in and program it. Um, and again, you're not going to be able to set it to uh, GMS. You're not going to be able to set it to any other frequencies except for the uh, except for the business bands. So don't think you can hack this thing just in software. I thought that might be possible, but you can't. Um, so it is what it is. Uh, it does it does it does what it does well. But uh, yeah, it is a, a commercial radio.